fast, physical and spectacular. The 13-meter AC45 One Design Catamarans are high-tech machines, giving an indication of the future AC72 model that will race in the 2013-34th America's Cup. It means a real facelift for the oldest sailing trophy in the world, forcing the sport to plunge into a new era. If the match racing regattas are still relevant, the fleet competitions are new. It's an extraordinary evolution for the prize and a new level of challenge. No less than 10 teams are preparing to meet in San Francisco, two French teams among them, Aleph and the Peyron Brothers Team Energy. Team Energy and Team France have done a great job. We brought back two medals. I don't think it's ever happened that the French have won medals in the America's Cup. I think the whole of Team Energy can be proud of the results that we've got here. We worked really well and above all, we've proved to people they can rely on France for the future. Now we continue to work without setting a goal because the main objective is behind me, to bring an America's Cup trophy to France. The French teams finish the year with good results, especially in San Diego at the America's Cup series for Team Energy. But they've already been getting ready for new challenges against the US Armadas, as well as New Zealand and Australia. It was really fantastic for us to race against all these champions, especially since we just came here to see what we could do, to get the best possible result. I think we did well in match racing and fleet racing today. I really feel that the Aleph project will improve with some help. We need to train and have new sails to work at our best. I think we can succeed because if we can beat crews like Team New Zealand and Team Artemis in Extreme 40s, then we can also put up a fight in AC 45s. French sailors may have no shortage of talent to put out in their boats, but the money to do so is often lacking in comparison with other countries, like New Zealand. In an attempt to regain a trophy they won twice in 1995 and 2000, New Zealand put in nearly 70 million euros, an unimaginable budget for the two French teams. The old port of Marseille, a busy hub that moves at a slow pace. At least the traffic does. In short, not such a glamorous image, but that could soon all change, as announced at the last Paris boat show. Politicians have embarked on a renovation project for the port. We're going to reduce cars on the port by 50% and improve public transport. That will in turn improve circulation. It will be a peaceful area on one of the largest pedestrian squares in Europe. Pedestrians will once again own the old port. The slogan that we choose is, we've rediscovered the old port. A future place of exchange that will be realized by this man, Michel Devine, a famous architect and the winner of several awards. He wants his project to preserve the innovative spirit of this unique location. There is a very strong feeling of ownership about the place. People from Marseille have a really strong presence in their town, and this extends to the nautical activity on the docks. We were often warned about the risk of sanitizing the spirit of Marseille. It's easily a great international focal point for the city. So we've tried to keep the authenticity while bringing in these wide open public spaces that don't exist at the moment. The idea of giving back the area to pedestrians while maintaining all the water activity has been well received among those who work with the sea. Eric Deyer has been visiting the port from an early age. This place feels a bit like his back garden. Going out of the Marseille port is a highlight, but it's even more special coming back in. You come in from the sea and there's this wide, free, open space. When you enter the harbour, you actually go into the town by boat and you can even drop people right at the metro. That's what makes it magic. Hubert Poirou can speak about this magic for hours. 
The old port has always been a kind of scenic place where we have put on big festivals. People coming in from the sea have put on some great spectacles. Boats on the ceiling and in the middle of the room. Hubert's passion is pretty clear. A few years ago, he even wrote a book on the subject. The real life of the old port is the life of craftsmen, the life of the sailors who rub shoulders with the hobby boaters. The Marseille beach is not a luxury resort, it's a popular area where everyone knows each other. There's a special atmosphere. I love to travel, but every time I come back and come out of the subway on the Quai de la Fraternité, on the Quai des Belges, I know I'm back home. Marseille is in the process of putting on its best clothes ready to be European capital of culture in 2013. And its gem is here, in the heart of a city with 2,600 years of history.